Okay, what we have here is a pool cleaner where the wheel fell off the cleaner. And this is actually, this part here is actually molded into the bottom of the body. You can see it's stripped out there. So in that case, we're going to need to get a whole new bottom body. You can see that the metal piece is actually molded in there when they manufacture it. And when I get that piece off the wheel, I'm also going to try to super glue it back in and see if that's effective. So I have some Loctite super glue. I'm going to see if I can actually glue that in and see how it looks after a day. See if it might be workable just by gluing it back in. The broken wheel is going to be a problem. I'm going to get a wrench and I'm going to grab a hold of this while I turn it because right now it doesn't work. Good thing about this, there's actually a little edge to it. You can actually put a wrench on, you can actually turn it, which is good. Try this the Loctite super glue here. See if I can get this piece back in. Maybe I'll be able to salvage it. I have it jammed in there pretty good. Some glue on the outside. I super glued the part yesterday. Looks good. I couldn't get it quite in the way I wanted to because the glue dried really quick. But let me see and test it and see if this may hold. Okay, I have the bolt in pretty good. Looks pretty stable. I'm not sure how long the glue will hold, but that might be an option before you replace the whole body. You just glue that piece back in. See how long the cleaner holds in your pool. So go ahead and try the super glue first. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and replace the bottom of the cleaner. And also note if it did strip out, you may need to replace the wheel itself also before you put it back together. And if the glue holds for a while, you'll save yourself about 100 bucks and a lot of work replacing the bottom.